Disgruntled travelers through an almost empty Logan Airport are struggling to rearrange their winter travel plans as 2015's first nor'easter hits the East Coast states. Yeah, I was supposed to teach a course at MIT tonight, so the whole MIT campus is closed until Wednesday. So um, I was afraid I'm not going to get home, and I changed my flight to a day earlier <laughs> so I can hopefully get home so I'm not stuck in the blizzard. <laughs> As of Monday night, almost all flights going in and out of Logan Airport had been canceled due to weather. It's due to the storm, or I don't even know what is going on with the weather here. Um, I was in England and it was canceled. I was flying to New York, but then they changed it to Philadelphia. Got that flight and I was really lucky to get the, la the second one. Um, and finally made it here. Boston is expected to receive two to even three feet of snow and could reach historic records of snowfall, putting it in one of the top worst storms of Boston's history. Even after travelers have successfully reached their destinations, their luggage is still taking the long way around. I, well, I'm, I'm waiting for my bags to come in on my next flight. Uh, my original flight got canceled. And so I've been jumping on planes and trying to uh, get my bags here, too. The last time the airport closed was in February 2013, when another nor'easter hit the Boston area with almost 25 inches of snow. The wind was too high, more than 15 knots, and the conditions um, were so that it was essentially whiteout conditions, which essentially you can't see, and so it was unsafe. The airport isn't the only travel area shutting down. As of midnight on Monday, the MBTA will be shutting down all transportation services. Boston residents are strongly urged to stay off the roads for their own safety. Much to the dismay of hundreds of travelers, full flight service is not expected to resume until Wednesday. Here at Logan Airport, I'm Lauren Westberg, reporting for the BU News Service.